Despite the popularity of mobile games, we haven't really had a gaming smartphone in India. But things are about to change with Asus bringing in the ROG phone. Now the company claims that it has dedicated hardware for the job and a 90Hz refresh rate for the display which is set to improve the gaming experience. But is it worth the 69,999 rupee price tag that it commands? You're about to find out. One look at it and there's no mistaking that this is a gaming phone. At the back, Asus has opted for an asymmetric design with different design elements to make it stand out. It also has a metal element on the side with vents on it. At the center, there is the ROG logo under the glass with RGB lighting which can be customized. Asus has opted for 3D Corning Gorilla Glass 5 at the back which should be able to resist scratches to some extent and the curved glass makes it comfortable to hold the smartphone. The designers have succeeded in making a smartphone that stands out from the competition. It's worth mentioning that despite the design, the ASUS ROG phone has an IPX4 protection which makes it splash resistant. At the front, the ROG phone sports a 6 inch display with a 18 to 9 aspect ratio. It is a full HD AMOLED panel and has Corning Gorilla Glass 6 for protection. It has good viewing angles and makes use of a color temperature sensor to set the screen appearance. It supports HDR, has a 90Hz refresh rate and can reproduce 108% of the DCI-P3 color gamut. The smartphone has front firing stereo speakers that are finished in copper, which do stand out. Bezels on the sides are thin, but the ones at the top and the bottom are comparatively thicker. ASUS has opted for a metal frame which gives the phone a premium feel in the hand. Besides the one at the bottom, there is a USB Type-C port along with a custom port on the left of the ROG phone which can be used to connect it to compatible accessories. ASUS bundles an aeroactive cooler that can be plugged into the ROG phone. This attachment has a fan which helps keep the device temperature under control when plugged in. On the frame of the ROG phone are three ultrasonic sensors called air triggers. These touch sensitive buttons can be used in both landscape as well as portrait mode and can be mapped to be used as shoulder buttons on a controller. This is especially helpful when playing first person shooters or even PUBG. The ROG phone has a SIM slot on the top left corner which can house two nano SIM cards and has support for dual 4G as well as dual VOLTE. Considering that this is a gaming phone, it's no surprise that ASUS has gone all out when it comes to the hardware. For the ROG phone, ASUS has used a specially binned Snapdragon 845 processor. These chips are clocked at 2.96 GHz, which is higher than the 2.8 GHz clock speed on the others. You get 8 GB LPDDR4X RAM and 128 GB of internal storage, which is non-expandable. The phone runs Android 8.1 Oreo with a custom ROG UI on top. This has been heavily customized with icon packs and a dark theme. There's a game center app that can be termed as the hub for all performance related tweaks on the phone. When you launch game center, you are treated with information regarding the CPU and GPU temperature as well as the current amount of RAM and storage being used on the smartphone. The aura lighting at the back can also be configured using the Game Center app, among other things. You'll also find a toggle for X mode, which ASUS says is a special mode dedicated to gaming. When this mode is switched on, the phone frees up RAM and ramps up the CPU clock speed. ASUS Game Genie software is also available on the ROG phone and gives you the option to record a gaming session or stream it to YouTube directly. This app also helps you put those air triggers to use and map them for different games. Switching the display to a 90Hz refresh rate has an immediate effect and animations appear a lot smoother. 
you get a quick toggle for HDR, but the phone switches it on automatically if it detects HDR content. We couldn't see HDR videos on Amazon Prime Video and Netflix, but the phone could detect HDR content on YouTube. We ran a couple of benchmarks on the ROG phone to see how the speed bent Snapdragon 845 SoC stacks up against the other processors. Our results showed that the phone does perform better than other devices with the Snapdragon 845 chip, especially when you put it in X mode. We could play PUBG Mobile at the HDR graphics setting with the frame rate set to Ultra and have a smooth frame rate. Asphalt 9 ran at the highest settings without any lag or stutter. We also had enabled the anti-aliasing feature in the Game Center app for this game, which resulted in no jagged edges during gameplay. Arena of Valor is a heavy game, but it could be played at higher frame rates on the ROG phone. The phone did not get hot when we played PUBG Mobile for 36 minutes and Arena of Valor for around 21 minutes. It does get slightly warm to the touch and it looks like the carbon pans and the vapor chamber are doing a good job at keeping the heat away. The phone's 4000mAh battery managed to still have over 20% charge left after 24 hours of use. In our HD video loop test, the phone managed to go on for 10 hours and 58 minutes with HDR enabled while going on for 15 hours and 5 minutes without HDR. When the battery does run out, the supply 30W charger is capable of charging the phone quickly. From 0% it got to 52% in 30 minutes and reached 85% in an hour. ASUS has opted for a dual camera setup on the ROG phone consisting of a 12 megapixel primary camera with face detection autofocus and an f1.7 aperture and a secondary 8 megapixel wide angle camera with a 120 degree wide field of view. There is AI built into the camera app and the phone can detect what it is pointed towards and set the scene up accordingly. The camera is quite similar to other ASUS phones and you get beauty, pro, super resolution, panorama and slow motion modes to choose from. Google Lens is also integrated within the camera app which is quite handy. A portrait toggle is available and you have the option to set the level of bokeh. The ROG phone is quick to focus and set the exposure right. The AI scene detection also helps when it detects one of its 16 preset scenes. Photos clicked from the ROG phone have a good amount of detail and even objects at a distance are recognizable. The phone automatically enables HDR in scenes with a bright background. You can switch to the wide angle sensor for a wider field of view with a tap but we found that it lacks autofocus. Macros are quite detailed and the phone could separate the subject from the background. While clicking tiny objects we did have to tap a few times to get it to focus where we wanted it. In low light, the ROG phone switches to night mode and keeps the shutter open for longer. With the f1.7 aperture and the longer shutter speed, it does manage to get some good amount of detail. But this is only useful when clicking a still subject and will result in a motion blur when the subject moves slightly. If you zoom into the image, you can also see some grains in the output. Portrait mode is easy to enable and you can set the level of blur as required. We also found that it manages good separation between the subject and the background. The 8 megapixel selfie shooter has an f2.0 aperture and clicks good selfies. Portrait mode is also available for the selfie camera and has good edge detection. Video recording on the ROG phone maxes out at 4K 60fps for the primary camera and 1080p for the selfie shooter. Electronic stabilization is available on the phone but we saw slight warping at the edges when recording in 1080p. We found the 4K footage to be oversaturated as it bumped up the greens and the yellows aggressively. With the ROG phone, ASUS is the first manufacturer to bring a dedicated gaming smartphone to the masses in India. The smartphone is designed to please the gamers and multiple design elements do draw inspiration from ASUS ROG series of laptops. ASUS has also cherry-picked the best Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 SoCs and have clocked them higher to give it a slight edge over other devices with the same chip. The additional carbon pads and the vapor cooling chamber do help in keeping the temperature under control. For the asking price of 69,999 rupees, the ASUS ROG phone will appeal to gamers. It is capable of running most recent titles without breaking sweat. 
If you are looking for a smartphone with the primary purpose of playing games on it, the ROG phone will appeal to you. So that was our review of the ASUS ROG phone. What do you guys think about this device? Let us know in the comment section below. And as always, for all things tech, stay tuned to Gadgets360.com.